Hi, and welcome to Bad Issues. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. I'm Tiffany. We're going to be talking about Dark Knight Returns, The Last Crusade. So, a while back, we covered Dark Knight 3, The Master Race, from Frank Miller and Brian Azzarello. Mm -hmm. yep. Well, I guess DC was hedging their bets, because at the same time that they were working on that book, mm -hmm. they also had Miller and Azzarello churn out this prequel book to Dark Knight Returns. What? Oh, that's why it's not numbered. That's right. Remember when in Dark Knight Returns they referenced Jason Todd dying? Let's talk about that here. We, but we don't need to. That's contingent on our knowledge of how Jason Todd died. <laughs> well, in Dark Knight Returns, they killed Jason in that book before DC Comics proper killed Jason Todd in uh, continuity. So it's a different. So it's actually a weird, like, chicken or the egg, who incepted who kind of situation. Mm. Right. But Miller's like, I didn't kill Jason Todd. I didn't even call him Jason Todd. I just called him Jason. He is Jason Todd in this book, by the way. But mm. that being said, let's cover some seminal moment in Batman's history in the Millerverse. Yeah, what other Jason would it be? We're right. going to Camp well, Crystal Lake. Yeah. <gasps> no! <laughs> uh, but this was interesting because Frank Miller and John Amita Jr. worked together, mm. as they liked to do. They did Daredevil Born Again. Yes. Uh, and a number of other projects together. Mm -hmm. uh, this would be, for Layman, the first time that John Amita Jr. drew the Joker, unless you're a fan of this channel, and you watched Batman Punisher 2. <laughs> which is also drawn by John Romita Jr. and it's in fact the first time Romita Jr. drew the Joker. And you can tell that because Romita Jr. drew <laughs> Dark Knight Returns Joker because he's so heavily influenced by Miller. Mm. Right. Miller also, I think, likes Romita because he draws kind of like he used to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has yeah, a similar style. Yeah. It's yes. not quite the same. No, nor will it ever be. But it's the closest <laughs> that's see, out there you right see now. see the resemblance. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, That's cool. Miller also has distanced himself from Dark Knight 3, The Master Race. He said that like <laughs> he didn't write it at all and that Azarella wrote the whole thing. He has said in numerous interviews, either like that he worked with him or that like he didn't work with him <laughs> or that DC just wanted his name on it and so he like licensed his name. Like, so who the hell knows? So who the hell knows? But we do know that Miller has at least owned this and I believe it. Mm. But... It's not quite batshit insane Frank Miller. Okay. So you know Azarello had something to do with it. <laughs> so maybe he tempered him a little bit. A little bit. He iced down the hard liquor that is Frank Miller. Uh, but then how do you get, like, the master race? Because that was batshit crazy. No. No way. <laughs> not compared to Dark Knight Strikes Again <laughs> or All-Star Batman and Robin yeah. the Boy Wonder. Mm. No. Compared to those two, that was a walk in the park. That was an easy ride. <laughs> maybe it was it wasn't batshit crazy. No. Maybe it was just shit. It was more just <laughs> annoying. It was Azarello like attempting to imitate the batshit crazy style and just not quite Ooh, getting Not there. quite getting the landing. Or it was Frank just churning something out and now he's unhappy about it. So he's like, I didn't write that. I didn't do yeah. that. I'll just say he did that. When they were working on it, Frank Miller said he wasn't working on it. Yeah. Like oh. while that book was coming out, he's like, I mean, I didn't really write it. I'm, I'm giving pointers, essentially. Yeah, like, yeah. it's more like Miller goes, I don't know, so then I guess uh, there's, like, evil Kryptonian cults. And they, like, do whatever. I uh -huh. mean, what do you want from me? Okay, right. so, uh, uh, and then you throw Batman in the Lazarus. It doesn't matter. We're not even, it's not even close to what this is. Okay. okay. Dark Knight Returns, The Last Crusade. All we know, and what's funny is you take a lot for granted because of the history of Batman that has nothing to do with Miller. Like, you see Joker on the cover. You know we were, we're dealing with the death of Jason Todd. Oh, it's Frank Miller's version of a death in the family story. Mm -hmm. Except in Dark Knight Returns, all we know is that Jason Todd died. And that's kind of the big last thing that forced Batman to retire. Yeah. And inspired Dark Knight Returns. Is there any other information? There's no reference to Joker being involved with it at all. No. So he in didn't the have book. to do that. No. But it kind of makes sense that it would be the Joker. I mean, sure, it makes sense that it would be the Joker, but it's funny because, like, apparently Miller and Moore, Alan Moore, had, like, a six-hour conversation about the Joker. <laughs> in which, like, Alan Moore is like, the Joker is the other side of the Batman coin. They're both crazy. They just both have different interpretations of what that means and how to express it. And Miller's like, Joker sucks. Which, <laughs> like... Miller's like, no. Yeah. Joker's a criminal. Yeah. Batman's a hero. Exactly. <laughs> Miller is like, Joker is evil, not crazy. Mm. 
And that's his whole... And, of course, I, I can imagine why it took six hours, because it was basically just going in circles for right. six hours. Yes. I would love uh -huh. to have been in that conversation, but yeah. alas. I would have tapped out probably in 20 minutes. Within, a, yeah. within, within 10. Like, okay. All right. So I the can't. So this, no. this, yeah. and, and he more probably had stuff in his beard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in this story, the context is Jason is Robin. Dick has left. And presumably, because it's in the Millerverse... Uh, Dick Grayson is quickly on his way to teaming up with Lex Luthor and having his whole physiology change so he can become a rubber Joker monster. But let's forget about <laughs> Dark Knight Strikes Again for just a yeah. minute and return to a simpler time when Batman is not in his prime but is close enough. Mm -hmm. uh, the Joker has been caught for the umpteenth time yeah. and he's being brought in by the GCPD who are taking turns like smacking him or hitting him with a baton as they drag his ass into Arkham. It's kind of neat, by the way, because John Romero Jr. drew this, because mm -hmm. you're seeing visuals and imagery that is straight out of Dark Knight Returns. This mm -hmm. is the yeah. first time that John Romero Jr. gets to dabble in that universe at all. Right. You can bet your bottom dollar he's going to be going full tilt into it, because Romero Jr. also loves Dark Knight Returns. Mm -hmm. He's saying like cryptic stuff. And yeah. but it looks like he's thrilled to be here. Yeah, he's having fun with being yeah. captured, unlike a typical prisoner who, who would, would be, be sad. resistant to it. Yeah. yeah. But no, it, we're supposed to evoke this idea that like Joker maybe wants to be back in Arkham. Uh, maybe it was a little easier than it should have been. But uh, he's covered in blood and he must have made it hard for it. And he has no shoes. He doesn't have any shoes, and that's 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 re that's repeated on the cover. But yeah. uh, I, I don't know what that means. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it's a Christ allegory, but uh, let's <laughs> You know, like in uh, maybe it's maybe it's a maybe it's a Beatles reference. Are they the oh. Romans that are taking him in? Right. Oh, yeah. I guess so. If it's you, perhaps it's Batman hit him so hard his shoes <laughs> knocked went, off, went into orbit. <laughs> <laughs> One of the interesting things about this is we're also reminding you of Dark Knight Returns. We got the news people. Yeah, the talking yeah. heads. But they're dressed kind of like they are today. So it's like, oh, it's like not quite there yet. Yeah, not quite the '80s future. That we were expecting from Dark Knight Returns. But we're also not getting just like, just heads on a screen. Like, we're actually no. seeing a conversation in a studio. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got Candy and Len, the, the, you know, the hot young reporter and the older seasoned experienced guy. And they're talking about Batman and how like, they're like, everybody must be pretty, pretty, pretty happy because we now know that Joker's back in custody. Mm -hmm. And so they talk about how um, Batman took down the Joker mm -hmm. and they're all really happy about that. But uh, they also say, oh, don't forget. Robin also helped in the apprehension of Joker. And, and Robin helped. Right. Well, we, and we see Robin has like this weird kind of like noose attached to his pole. It's like a thing they oh. use for animals. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, Which is fitting. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And so, you know, Candy's like, don't forget, like Robin was involved too. And Len is like, yeah, that's kind of weird. Have, <laughs> we, have we ever talked about how weird it is that there's a Robin? And that he doesn't age? Well, well, no, they don't even care about that. It's more like they were like, okay, so yeah, like, Batman, we were all kind of on board for Batman, but then he brought this, like, little kid into it, and now it's kind of, like, dicey. Mm -hmm. And she's like, you know, that's actually a good point. Like, it's kind of like child endangerment. But they don't, like, they're happy with Batman. Like, yeah. there is no debate. Right. And right. I kind of like that. Like, Batman it's, hasn't it's pushed the line like... yet. Batman's cool, is it kind of uncool about the kid? Right, and like, so maybe that's a topic we should have when the Joker isn't at large. Right. Right, like, right. for now we're just glad. Also, the, yes, way, exactly. he's away. the way he's drawn, he's like 12 going on 22. Oh, yeah, right, like who's to say? So it's like, he's a boy, or not. Or he's just like youthful. I don't know. You know, mm. either way. Uh, but they make a point of saying like, being Robin must be kind of warping. Like, what does the kind of brutality of being Robin do to a young man? Mm. Let me go back to Wayne Manor, and Batman's watching their broadcast about it. <laughs> and uh, he's waking up, and like, uh, huh. Jason comes in. He's like, hey, Bruce, you ready to work out? And Bruce's like, yeah, yeah just, just a minute. <laughs> so Jason leaves, and Alfred's <laughs> like... That's not a good time. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Alfred's like, your room. something came up. Like, what are you talking about? And he's like, you got to help me, man, because I am wrecked. Oh, from the fight? Yeah. No, from the bender he went on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Batman, of course, is emotionally abusive to Alfred, like he always is in the Millerverse uh -huh. or in any other Batman story. Uh, we get back into the, like, Batcave and Bruce and Jason are training, and he says, like, I ache, but nothing that a good workout can't cure. Uh -huh. And you're like, right on, okay. Sure. And Batman and Jason fight, and he's like, Jason's good. Like, he is, he is fast, and he's eager, mm -hmm. but he's like... 
his cockiness is a weapon that always backfires. Mm. And so he uses Jason's arrogance against him, immediately takes him down. Yeah. And he's like, it doesn't matter how fast you are if your opponent knows what you're about to do. And like reverses it on him and he's like, you want to tap out? Come on. And Jason yeah. has to tap out. And so Alfred comes in, he breaks up the fight and he's like, listen, I've got some bad news. And you're like, oh no, what's the news? Like, oh crap, this is the Millerverse. Anything can happen yeah. that hasn't right. already happened in the four other sequels to Batman Dark Knight. Right. Like, Ollie lost his arm. Right, Oliver, yeah, Superman's gone rogue, the other heroes <laughs> are leaving, what, what, what are we going to get? Uh, a rich socialite that Bruce Wayne knows is dead. Oh no. Yes. You, they, you have to show up to a funeral. It's, no, it's BFFs. not even that. Yeah, Winston Edgewater, noted philanthropist, died and was apparently found in the harbor from suicide, leaving behind his widow. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of sad. Bruce is his like, widow, Selena Kyle. Yeah, no. Bruce is like, and I have one less person I had to pretend is my friend. So, <laughs> so actually, that really helps me out. Cool. All right. That must Three be left. a very short list. And one of them's Alfred. He's like, Alfred, get the dossier. I don't remember anything about him. <laughs> oh, God, I hate getting old. So, uh... <laughs> Uh, uh, Winston's wife or widow Mimi is there at the at the scene of the of, of the of the apparent suicide. It's mm-hmm. pouring rain. It's a great little like atmospheric looking yeah, scene. Yeah, Bruce is there, and it's funny because like there's a there's a reporter on the scene talking about like this crazy thing that happened, and then he's like, yeah, and and wait wait, ser- seriously? Okay, apparently we all have to get out of the way from this real story because Bruce Wayne's here and he's got to make it all about himself. What? So, because Bruce Wayne's on the scene, so everyone wants to talk about like what Bruce Wayne's doing. And that's not him making it all about himself. No, but this that's is, that's them making it all about Bruce. That's your colleague. Yeah, but, no, but, it's Bruce doing this. Frank, oh, every time Bruce comes, he out, craves the attention. I think Frank is making fun of this reporter yeah, who yeah. hates the one percent and wants uh-huh. to make a story about what a jerk bruce wayne is but yep. bruce goes to mimi and he's like what can i do and she goes actually can you pay off the mortgage on our house because like oh. i talked to, a week ago i discovered that like we're broke winston took all our money and like embed like, he lost it mm. and we're we're ruined and he's like that's not that's not possible like you don't understand how finances work. <laughs> well, no, he's. It's not that. It's more like it's more like you don't understand how paranoid and how like, you know, jackbooted I am. I I have tabs on everyone I work with. Right. Like Winston did not have a gambling problem. She's like, well, I'm broke. Yeah. So. So he you did. tell me. Right. What happened to it? That's the Joker what? gang. And the Joker gang are cool looking. They're, no, they're, they're not. And they're covered in bandages and have like a weird, creepy smile drawn on the bandages. How do they see? They look, they look like they look like like Voldo. Yes. No. <laughs> we all walk like him too. Batman finds this horrible Joker gang, uh, breaking into a pharmacy that's robbing the place, and uh, that, uh, yeah. Robin. Oh, because Robin shows up to help out. Uh, it's actually kind of fun. <laughs> they shoot. They shoot at Batman through the window. Uh-huh. Batman and Robin get out of the way, and then there's a pause, and they're like, "Oh, you think we did it?" And then. Robin says, they're asking each other if, they, if we're dead, right? And he goes, yeah. And then the two of them just blast through the window and, like, cave the window in on them. Nice. Uh, Batman says, pain shoots up my spine because, like, we just I just caved in a window with my legs and I'm friggin' old and ruined. Yeah. And also, he clearly did most oh. of the work because... Robin is clearly coming in after yeah, the yeah. fact ever so slightly. I so. Robin's smart. He's like, well, you're heavier than me. Yeah. yeah. You're going to do more damage. Okay, ready on three. One, two, three. Three. No. Four. <laughs> <laughs> so. Good teamwork, Batman. Yeah. Uh, so Batman and Robin cripple these guys, but a couple of them get away. Uh-huh. And they get into their getaway van. And, uh, of course, like, one of the Joker gang's guys, like, shooting a noose. Yeah. They get on their, bi- their, ba- their bat cycles yep. with their shields shaped like bats. Yep. And cool. drive at them. Um, so they, it's for aerodynamic purposes, I'm sure. I think it's to deflect bullets. Protect them from bullets, yeah. But, uh, yeah, they. It's almost like you shouldn't be on a bike. Batman throws, like. An explosive at one of the cars. It flips over the cars. Batman makes Killing a note like, no, 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 just it, as you can see, it's just a sur- it's a superficial explosion. Although that isn't the driver's seat, so I'm sure at least one person's dead. He's fine. Yeah, it's just suffering. Yeah. Superficial they, 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 look, in Gotham, they uh, the driver's seat is on the right side of the car. Yeah, so yeah. Okay. Uh, but we know that the driver didn't die because Batman is busy pulling the hoods out of the back of the car. He's mm. like, Rob, we got to get to them before they die. Oh, and from fire, but or? yeah, from 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 fire. Okay, but, and the explosion, and the explosion that will come. <laughs> that it's already awesome. happened. Yeah. yeah, and the knives <laughs> that are on their hands. Because How do they drive? <laughs> the driver 
pops up out of like the now side driver's seat mm-hmm. and he's got his gun trained on Batman and then Robin drops down catching the driver's side door and crushes him with it. Oh, damn. Yeah. Robin covers his mouth because I, and I and I know it was for show because yes, it stank, but I know he was covering his smile. Oh. Like it's not working. Uh-oh. He's he's too angry. He's too yeah. extreme. He's well, too bloodthirsty. Yeah. Now he's what are you going to do, Batman? Now what are you going to do now? You, you trained him. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll just like wait until he falls asleep and I'll kill him with my lightsaber. <laughs> so meanwhile, uh, Joker is telling a joke in a 12-panel grid mm. format. Is it a good joke? No. <laughs> but Is it ever? The point is, freaking Joker. Joker's telling this, telling this joke, and he's smoking because like he smoked in Dark Knight Returns. Right. Mm-hmm. And uh, you can see, like, as we get further away from Joker's close-up, like pills and other uh, accoutrements from the mental institution are just freaking flying all over the place. And we pull back, and like Joker must have caused like a like a riot. Mm. Or are, it's pandemonium. It's pandemonium. Or there was a riot, and Joker just isn't responding. Like, yeah, he's not like, participating. Or this is like a Tuesday at this place. And it's, it is Arkham. <laughs> but uh, but he he offers to tell he he's telling the joke, and then he stops over the punchline, and like everyone in the asylum stops their riot to beg Joker to tell them what the punchline is, mm-hmm. and he says, "You tell me." And then we cut to uh, Gotham City the next morning. Uh, Batman is in bed with Selina Kyle. Oh. Oh. And they right. have like a couple of sexual innuendo back and forth, despite yeah. the fact they just had sex. If you can see them naked in bed together, you don't need innuendo. That, but you know. but uh, but he basically says like, I think I'm slowing down. She's like, trust me, you are. Right. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, she, he's like, he goes like, I'm I'm feeling my mortality, like I'm losing it. Yeah, that's it's just called, the blood rushing back to your head. And she's like, it's called aging. Maybe your body is telling you what your brain is too stubborn to admit. Mm. Uh-huh. And he goes. But I, I can't retire. But I'm, ba- I'm Batman. Though. Well, he's. I, I can't retire because Jason's apparently bloodthirsty. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I got to no, fix. No, in this book, Batman's like, I, I was going to retire, and oh. Jason was going to take over, but I can't oh. leave it to him. Right. Yeah. Or at least I don't know if I can. Yeah. Well, why don't you call Dick back? Mm. Other than I know that's not what can right. happen. But but like... Dick hates him. It's still. Well. In, in Dark Knight Returns, at least they haven't spoken since Dick left. Yeah. yeah. But. Yeah, I can't. I, I guess can't something call happened. Dick doesn't become Nightwing in this universe. Right. Mm-hmm. He just leaves. Probably, well, obviously it doesn't work out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just give Jason to Alfred. Be mm. like, here, for part of your training, you're going to learn to clean the house. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to kill messes. Yeah. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Move to France. <laughs> you're going to squash grime. But uh, we get this little back and forth between Selene and Bruce, and he's just like, I'm not ready for civilian life. Mm. I can't. And she goes, okay, well, then I'll put the costume on. Wink. They're going to bang in their costumes. Yay. Uh, we get a fun little, like, commercial. Boys will be boys, and boys make bad decisions, and sometimes they go to, like, convenience stores and rob them, but then this guy shows up and cripples them. Paid for by Mothers Against Batman. <laughs> what? Well, you're bad mothers. What was your no, message? No, we're mad. Message was, boys will be boys, but, like... They don't get to learn not to steal from our liberal sensibilities. They get beaten by this, like, anarchist in a bat suit. Well, like, how do they get three strikes if uh, Batman breaks their legs? Right, if Batman catches them the first time. Well, what if they kill somebody? Uh, well, my boy would never do that. He is a good boy. Yeah. Who's robbing convenience stores? Yeah. Well, right. he just has to learn. Like I said, boys will be boys. <laughs> well, it's uh, the cops are supposed to teach him that, not... Well, and the, and the no, courts no. and me, but I, let's let's leave me out of this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a negligent parent. But uh, so there's another like crazy thing happening. Uh, this guy named Tavis Farley, uh, another Gotham socialite, another wealthy guy that Bruce Wayne would know personally, uh, has gone nuts and is holding his wife hostage on a bridge in Gotham. I am oh. really glad you mm. told us his name because I thought that was Commissioner Gordon. Sure. Uh, uh, <laughs> it does look like Gordon, but when you pull back, you see he's, yeah, he's, 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 more, he's more desperate. He's gross. <laughs> Batman and Robin are like watching the scene. Uh, Batman calls out to him. He's like, hey, why do you want to kill your wife, Tavis? Talk yeah, to us. What happened, man? And he says, like, I need to prove to her that I love her. And Batman's like, Batman's like, watch his finger. Okay, you're going sh- to prove to her that you love her by shooting her in the head? And he goes, yes, I love her and I'll prove it. And then Robin throws a batarang and ostensibly cuts off his arm. Oh. And Robin's and Batman goes, Robin, you could have just knocked the gun out of his hand. 
And Robin's like, I suppose. <laughs> and Batman's like, mm. I could tell you I missed, but like. You no. know I didn't. <laughs> yeah. So Batman's in the cave and he's talking to Alfred and, you know, Alfred offers lunch. He goes, what happened at breakfast? He goes, it got cold. <laughs> hours ago and he goes you know what like i'm just sifting through all the, like, the bank records of all the acquaintances that i've made and all these like rich people who i've worked with and mm. tavia says he has to prove to her that he loves her by killing her but maybe he's not talking about his wife and we see on the screens he's thinking oh, might be poison ivy yeah. yay Pammy. And, and miller's never written about poison ivy we've never seen their version of her so oh. you know but like but we do know that poison ivy her mo is usually like using her Toxins, toxins to to control the wills of men. Yeah, yeah, and influence them to give her their money or or know, whatever or land or yeah. whatever. And so he asks Alfred for the first time ever. He's like, Alfred, what do you think of Jason? <laughs> like, does he strike you as being kind of cold? And Alfred says, I've noticed that he lacks a little bit of empathy. Mm. And he says, like, but that's not why you chose him. You chose him because you saw your pain in him. Now, maybe if you had chosen your partners based on their intelligence that you have, you might actually have a replacement for yourself. Oh, like mm. Tim? Yeah. We're never going to see Tim. No, I know. But, yeah. like, that's what... <clears throat> but, yeah, he says, like, that would be a truly worthy successor. And Batman's like, I'll give it some thought. We're implying Carrie. We'll oh. Oh. Okay. But, you yeah. know, it's foreshadowing. They don't yeah. know. So I've noticed that both Tavis and Winston were... Have part, stupid names. Have have, have will have rich p- white people <laughs> names, but that they both but join also. to a country club, and they also have yeah no, uh, that they both have substantial investments in a company called Green Vein. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, another poison ivy connection. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. It's her shell company, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, meanwhile, we cut back to Arkham. Oh God, this the is Joker's like... the cover of this book. Right. right. So don't forget. Don't forget don't Joker. Forget. And uh, there's an inmate there who like ate his own fingers and clearly like the Gross. Joker inspired him to do it. Huh. But the doctors here are awful. Yeah. Oh yeah. Do they do anything? It's like they didn't <laughs> that's bandage how the these, front. They that's were how just these like, people get out. It's fine. Yeah. This well, is... it's, it's like a place where it's like you send the criminally insane if you just want to punish them. It's yes. Like the state They're won't want to send them doctors. to jail. Right. So these are just other Arkham. inmates who are just like, well, I'm just going to pretend to be a doctor. Well, they just let them run. Free. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna protect. Okay, go ahead. Govern yourselves. Knock it. Knock yourselves out. Yeah. You don't deserve treatment. You're so evil. Yeah. Maybe. But he go- <laughs> he goes to the one guy and he's like, "Explain it. Do you want to tell me why you ate your own fingers?" And he's like, "I'm as delicious as the Joker said I would be." He's like, "Okay." And he moves on to the next one. He goes, "Okay, so uh, you want to tell me why you pulled your eyes out?" And it's like, clearly the Joker <laughs> is, is is what. How, how is he able to... Because the Joker has significant influence yeah. over the insane. Okay. It inspires also them. a possibility mm. that uh, what you were going to do to yourself is better than what he was going to do to you. You think he threatened them? Right. Uh, no. He just That's influenced their badness. <laughs> but, uh, but, but he would be able to do that, I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, we get to see the proto the, the, this, this Batmobile. It's just, a, it's just a rich person car. But look, no, it's got cool eyes. And it's red. I'm with I'm, Tiffany. This I'm, is just a cool rich person this car. This is a cool rich person car. Yeah, I'm not totally. really seeing the no, bat. Motif. This is the Mach 1 from Speed Fucking <laughs> <laughs> It looks like the fins backwards. <laughs> that way, when you reverse, you know, yeah. you really, you really pull out of that space. Right? So, um, so Jason remarks that, like, apparently Green Vein's address, this, like, organization, mm-hmm. is just this, a sewage treatment plant. Mm. Mm. And Jason says, like, and doesn't it make sense? Like, why are we here? when Bruce Wayne would make more sense to investigate this situation. Sure. And Batman's like, I think Batman can handle it. Stay in the car. <laughs> and he's like, that's an interesting point. Like, maybe one day, like, Gotham's problems can be solved by Bruce Wayne. Uh, but Also, uh, you should retire and let me take up the mantle. Right, but <laughs> not today. So Batman gets there, and there is another young, wealthy socialite mm. who is talking to this big... Du- it's Killer Croc. It's Frank Miller's Killer Croc. Who oh, is, it's who just is a dude. the most unoriginal version you could possibly come up with, which is he's a big dude. He's yeah. really strong and maybe has, like, he's strong got, alligator-like skin. Yeah, he's got some... He's got some scaly skin. things. Yeah. Maybe he's from Australia. He's gross. <laughs> yeah, but he's gross. He's, like, a guy, but, like, a little bit grosser. Right. So... And big. So they have this back and forth, this, like... This rich guy and Killer Croc. And the rich guy is like, I want to see her. 
And he's like, yeah, you, you don't, you don't tell me what to do. Oh, you know, she it, comes to see you. It's like going into the tent to see the mermaid or the, the serpent <laughs> lady. <laughs> yeah, he's the bouncer who's like, you gotta pay your five dollars. It's like, but that's too much because I know it's fake. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but you want to see her, right? Uh, I kind of do. And he's yeah. like, but I don't, you don't understand. I paid so much money, like, to see her. I deserve to see her. And he's like, screw you. And uh, so Batman accidentally makes a noise <gasps> while he's skulking in there because mm. he's slow and stupid and he's a twit. <laughs> These are all lines. Stupid old man. This oh, is all yeah. lines from Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns or Spawn Batman. Yep. Uh, <laughs> so they this alerts them to Batman's presence. Uh, the rich guy says, like, go get him. Mm-mm. Killer Croc smashes his face into the table and he goes, stop telling me what to do. Oh, he kills him. I don't think he kills you him. You don't think so? I mean, he Because he shows up later. Dead. Oh, really? He should oh. be dead. Yeah. He Why looks... is it smoking? <laughs> yeah, why oh, is it... uh, that's that's where Waylon must have left his cigar. He... Oh, yeah, he was chopping on a... Yeah. Oh. So, that's yeah. a lot of smoke. Yeah. Yeah. So Batman leans <laughs> down to get check... It. But it's, it's actually kind of clever, because Batman leans to check the pulse, and Killer Croc comes up behind him and just grabs him. Oh. Right, okay. And he goes like... I caught you. This is like the first time. Yeah. Slowing down. Uh, Don't uh, gloat. Just kill him. Uh, yeah. Batman like punches into him and he's just trying to take him down. It's not working. And he's like, this is it. This is it. I'm going to kill you. Finally. Yeah. It's taking forever. And he's like throwing him around, just yeah. like having a great day. Because clearly Batman is like wrecked. Yeah. And uh, the cops show up, um, which scares Waylon away. Hmm. Uh, so Killer Croc runs away. Yeah. Right. And... Robin shows up and he's like, hey, what's up? <laughs> and, <laughs> and Batman's like, I told you to stay in the car. And he's like, I didn't listen. Like, clearly he called the cops. He like, he's like, yeah. you're, right. you're getting your ass kicked in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, we, uh, we go back to Bruce and Selina. Uh, what? Know. Yeah, that was that. That's over. That night's oh, over. Killer Croc was taken care of. He no, ran he, away. He, he ran, ran away. away. Okay. He no, no, jumped he, into the sewers. Yeah, he, he saw the lights and he's gone. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah it's but I guess there was nothing else there? No. Okay. It was just, yeah. Yeah, it's just where Killer Croc... Oh, yeah. I thought like well, Poison it, Ivy was like in the back or something. Well, Poison Ivy owned clearly like the building yeah. or whatever, and was u- running things from there. But now that it's now that the cops are kind of caught wise to this, yeah. they probably have to set up a new base of operations. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, of course, like the cops pick up Langston Marks, the socialite guy who was yeah. like face first in the ground, mm-hmm. uh, and they bring him in, and he's like all messed up and okay. everything. And, but yeah, Batman talks to Selina about how like you know, he almost died, about how he almost died, and he's slow and he's stupid and it's not working. Yeah. I can't do this. Thing. I'm in constant agony. Oof. And she goes like, I can help with that. And she gets some pills and he goes, no, pills make me stupid. Mm. Like I have to feel the mm-hmm. pain. I gotta feel it. <laughs> Batman is all about feeling. Yeah, whatever, man. No, I went down that road once. Uh, you to your shrink. Yeah. We cut to the... Uh, Gothip. Gothip Live. Get it? That's like the TMZ of Gotham. Yeah. And they're talking about how this socialite was picked up in like a sewage treatment plant and he mm-hmm. was all like beaten up and... Like, he has a wife somewhere, and, you know, what are you doing, man? Oh, and the Batman was there. Did the Batman beat him up? Right. Was the Batman bad? Even, no, no, everyone's on board for Batman. Thank God. Wait, I Gotham's love, on board. I love the fact that you, like, mentioned the fact that he has a wife. What is he doing here? You brought up the whole Batman thing. I was like, oh, are you going to, like, Imply say that? that he's having an affair with Batman? <laughs> like, oh, my God, Batman and this guy. He does oh, spend God. a lot of time with that young guy in booties <laughs> and shorts. Her Next time, Gotham. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, uh... So have any of them mentioned Poison Ivy yet? Batman showed Poison Ivy on his on monitor. No, I know, but like no. none of the guys that are enthralled with her. Nah. No. Nah. Nobody it's said it's Pam just her. or Poison Ivy. Just her. Yeah. So Langston, immediately when he gets out of the hospital, he goes to Gotham Botanical Gardens. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I'm coming, my love. I'm here, and I brought you such wonderful presents. <laughs> the greatest I could afford. And Batman and Robin are right there waiting. Mm-hmm. They're like, like, uh-huh. I yeah. knew. Like... That she that he was going to come here and yeah whether she's here or not well, he was going to we here. we followed him to the gardens because oh, we knew that he was okay. eventually he we knew well, he where was else were you going to go? Gotham well, can't have nice things. No, no. <laughs> Botanical <laughs> gardens run by poison ivy. <laughs> Toy factory Joker. Arctic themed uh, anything? Yeah, the Aquarium? penguin exhibit at the zoo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, no. A second toy store Riddler. Right. <laughs> yeah. Or the a toy lesser, maker. A lesser, you know, more complicated version of a toy store Riddler. <laughs> a haberdashery. Oh. I'm afraid not. Nope. Not, Mad not Hatter. The Mad Hatter has anything to say about it. <laughs> or a tea shop. <laughs> yeah. Mexican wrestling arena. Bane. Bane. Sorry, Gotham. Yeah. Oh, the Gotham Swamps? Killer Croc. Right. Yep. Enjoy your Walmart. 
<laughs> so Batman and Robin trace uh, Langston to the Botanic Garden, yeah. and mm -hmm. uh, so Robin says, "Like, man, he's got it bad." And Batman's like, "Obsession is never good, but let's not." <laughs> <laughs> by me <laughs> but no it, it's more like let's not let's not hold a mirror to me or anything and uh and and, and robin says batman you know you're slowing down like i can i can handle this on my own oh god and oh wait you're gonna send the teenage boy yes, to, to deal, deal with, with this yeah. sexy lady yeah yeah robin's like no this has nothing not to do with the other idea. plot like just come on man come yeah, on come on just, I'll be like, this. just let me go deal with poison ivy yeah. come on like, i totally don't want a banger i love it though because his batman <laughs> could be like no you murdered a man <laughs> You're right. a freak. I'm gonna fire you. Uh, but instead, he says, "Are you okay if we do this together, Robin?" Mm. And then Robin yeah. says, "Do you think I'm retarded?" It's <laughs> <laughs> another great Frank Miller line from a classic story. I like that Batman's not tipping his hand that he is like concerned about he's Jason. Like, about Jason. He's he like, if know. I do that, he might fly yeah, off yeah, the handle. Freak out. <laughs> Oh, I lack empathy, huh? Yeah. Oh, I guess I'll just kill you since I don't right. care about anybody. Well, I'll kill Alfred. He's definitely yeah. talking bad about me. Like, mm -hmm. who, yeah, who, I heard it in the fence. Who's you against me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The bats told me. So uh, we're back at Arkham, and they're like they're they're funneling the inmates to get to their cells, mm -hmm. and Joker walks through it, and then like it, it just it just falls apart. Everyone just freaks out. No, well, like. Joker refuses to go to his cell, like, and and it's done through no dialogue, yeah. just them walking through. Uh, one of the one of the orderly says like, "Okay, say night night, boys and girls," and like you have like night night, like everybody's saying night because it's repetition. Frank Miller likes that. That's uh -huh. that's the one thing you're like, okay, I know Frank did that. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, they repeat themselves, and like the the inner monologue is just night 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 night, and it's just like, uh. mm -hmm. and you see like as Joker's walking through the corridors, like the orderlies come out and they're like, hey, they're yelling at him. They got their nightsticks. Right. And then Joker just says, now. And then all of them completely freak out. It's oh. just that, the, the guy eating his hand, the guy pulling out his eyes, uh -huh. the, 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 the prison riot, like all of it is implying that Joker has complete, total control of Arkham. Right. Mm. At, at, under at his thrall. The drop of one word, he's controlled Arkham. The, the two orderlies are swept away by these people, and they're clearly outnumbered. Yeah. And they rip him apart. And wow. then Joker just leaves. He just walks out the door. They pull their shivs out of nature's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure nobody picks your pocket. <laughs> so Joker just puts on, you know, an Arkham Asylum staffer like outfit and mm -hmm. just walks out the door. Because he blends. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. He's a real blender. Yeah. Well, he, he does light a cigarette, so it's like you're, you know, you're, you're, you're distracted by the hot cherry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he also like has good makeup tips and he blends. That's true. He does blend mm. literally physically. So we 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 drop the pretenses at the botanical gardens. Poison Ivy's yeah, there. Poison Ivy, yeah. She's yeah. talking to. It's not all... gonna be like a switcheroo. Nope. Like oh, oh it's Bane. It's, it's a magpie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Poison Ivy's saying like, okay, my little darlings, give up everything you have. You need to give me all your money. Did Batman's face get stung by a bee? Yeah, he's all like messed up looking. Uh, maybe he's putting his. Tongue in his oh, cheek. Like, so that's just yeah. No, or it's just, just John Romita Jr. drawing, doing a thing. Yeah, there's like a little bump sometimes you draw there to indicate like a, a shape. draw a cheap. Uh, yeah, it's like part of the lip shape there. He's got it there too. It could it's be too it much though. It could be a welt. It could be, could be but it's yeah. yeah. It, and it's like shaded in a weird way. Yeah. It looks well, know. and what's funny is. Uh, Klaus Janssen didn't ink this one. Yeah. As he absolutely should have, because not only did Klaus Janssen ink all of Frank Miller's work in Dark Knight Returns, yeah. but he also normally inks John Romita Jr.'s pencils on Frank Miller esque projects. What were you doing, yeah. Klaus? So, where the hell what was he? Klaus, sleep it at the dropped wheel. the ball. That being said, it's a pretty book. It looks Yeah, it looks good. Look no, it does, that's just, that's it... just unclear what's supposed to be happening. I agree. Yeah. Uh, so, then Batman and Robin just jump in and they're like, the jig is up! Ha ha ha. Yeah, we, it's over. It's over. We're whatever here. You, whatever you've infected them with, you're gonna have to just get the, you know, get the antidote. And she's like, I've infected them with greed. And then she makes them fight Batman and Robin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, Batman is like fighting them, but he's also aware that these people are under a thrall. Right. Yeah. This and is so not their fault. Right. So I'm not kicking their ass. But totally, Robin but doesn't Robin care. Yeah. And he is just wrecking They're these enemies. people. And he's doing like he's devastating. He's exactly what I trained him to be. Yeah. And mm. oh crap. And so Robin is, he's beat everybody and he says, Robin, that's enough. He's breaking spines. And 
that distraction of Robin allows Killer Croc to get the upper hand. Uh, Killer Croc oh. grabs him. Don't forget Killer Croc! Yeah. Yeah. And Killer Croc is obviously also under Poison Ivy's spell. Right. 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 Okay. So Croc she is... She just told him he didn't look that bad one day. And right. He's, he's like, like, oh, <gasps> yes! <laughs> so, I can make something out of this! I'll die for you. <laughs> I haven't even I, used my toxin. I know! What? I don't care. That's cool. <laughs> So he's fulfilling the role of Bane if this yes, was Batman and Robin. If this were the movie that no one likes. Well, it's just, they really like with with Ivy to play up the Beauty and the Beast. Yes. Mm. Like, but they don't say it. No. Yeah. But like, it's there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Batman is he's just getting good. crushed. Yeah. His ribs are cracking. He like throws his head back and he says in his mind, something finally breaks that isn't mine. <laughs> <laughs> Smashes his nose in. Nice. Uh, and then he kicks him as hard as he can, like everywhere he can like yep. the groin the stomach I don't care and he just says you're going down and he goes I'm what? are you for real? <laughs> are you dense? are you retarded or something? <laughs> I'm the goddamn Killer Croc and we've uh, come full circle Yeah. so Killer Croc's got him on the ropes he's just, he just wrecks him and he's yeah. like and he has like a stupid line it doesn't matter he's like should I curb stomp you with your mask on or off? And you're like, okay. All right, right cool. Weird. Thanks. You could just let us enjoy the scene. Batman fine. breaks out just a piece of wood <clears throat> and then just starts wailing. <laughs> oh nice. my God, he's chasing around the garden with a bit of wood. With a bit of wood. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And just, he's just, I, I've just got to hit him with everything. Yeah. And he's like, he's hitting him in the ribs as payback for breaking his ribs. Uh -huh. Use your utility belt. Don't you have shit? <laughs> Aren't you a brilliant <laughs> strategist? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> This is where you pull out tactician. Things. You had more finesse fighting the mutant leader <laughs> ten years after this happened. Well, he, had, I, uh, he had some time. I had to remove all of the yeah. gadgets and replace them with snacks. There, it's just replaced with condoms. I got a for Selena. Yeah, yeah, because he's getting laid on the regular. Yeah. Oh, this was the wrong suit. This was the sex suit. I, yeah. I forgot the wrong condoms. He has it oh, figured no. out. Oh no! Yeah, Damn then it. he's gotta be like, strategic. What? <laughs> <gasps> no, man. <gasps> no. I die for you. <laughs> <laughs> so Batman hits him in the skull and he says, I hit him in the skull with everything I got. Wow. And he staggers. So I do it again with all I have left. And he's down. Wow. All right. Robin has poison ivy uh -huh. tied up. He's beating her. Yeah. Because you know, what's she going to do? He's just like. <gasps> he's a whirling dervish. <laughs> and uh, Wait, he didn't murder her? No, he just he just tied her up. Didn't even lay a finger on her. It's it looks like, like you're for later. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Batman passes out. Oh wow! And that distracts Robin. And then Poison Ivy jumps on top of Robin and takes her bound hands and starts choking him out. Oh. And she's like, maybe you'd like to join him. And then Batman just pulls her hair <laughs> and then just choke holds her until she passes out. All right. Cool. Oh. Don't worry, I woke up for that. Yeah. Passes back. So then Batman goes back to the cave. He's getting patched up by Alfred, and he's talking to Alfred, and he's, and, uh, you know, and, and, uh, and Robin shows up, and he's like, Bruce, I just checked out some of our covert security cameras, and there's some shit. And he's, I thought I told you to go to bed. We've had enough. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We've had enough we don't for need a night. Any more fights. And he says, "But the Joker's out what, there." Like when I say we, I really mean me, though. Yeah, no, yeah. I am not coming outside. <laughs> uh, but he says, "Like the Joker's out there, and there's no telling what he's going to do." And he's like, "Do you think it's any worse than what he's been doing? Like, just let's let's give him a day, okay? I need to I need to lie down." He goes, "We'll pick this up in the morning." And he, and and Alfred's like, "Dude, like you're kind of kind of short with him." And he says, "He's not ready," and I don't think he'll ever be ready. Mm. Oh. And Jason hears it. <gasps> oh, and he's like pissed. So Robin puts on his suit, and he goes out, and he tracks down where the Joker's hidden, and then the Joker's men beat him, and then they bring him to the Joker in the story end. What? Robin dies off camera at the end of this book. Interesting. That's it? Yeah, Robin and his brashness get him killed off screen. Huh. That is a cop-out. Uh, it's interesting. Joker's Choice. people beat him. I mean, it's kind of interesting because it's like, yeah, well, what do you think's going to happen? Yeah. Robin's going up against the Joker alone. Right. Like, in a like fit of like rage and anger. Exactly. And, uh, yeah. He... Oh, yeah, he doesn't even die here because the Joker's like... No, we're, we're going to make him scream. We're going to have fun. Yeah. So you're like, what? 
So what? All right, here, look. I love a good Poison Ivy story. But this is We one, didn't need any of this. Of no! You barely had nope. Poison Ivy. The Joker on the cover? Yeah. Jo what does Joker do? He takes over Arkham and leaves. And then at the end, he kills Robin. He doesn't. He kills Robin in an imaginary comic yeah, book no. that doesn't yeah. exist. Or does he? And you know what's really frustrating? No, he, it's very much implied. Well, we His know death he, is implied. We know yeah. he dies, we know he yes. dies later. Yes. And he seems like he's going to die here, so I guess you're supposed to infer yeah. that this is where you he totally dies. totally infer but that this is where he's going to die. Did they say that he dies by the Joker's hands? No! In but Dark Knight Returns, they don't say the Joker him. kills him. Yeah, but he's dead. But he is dead. Right. And this would be the like prime opportunity for this him is, to die. This is the book that was billed as the death of Frank yeah. Miller's Jason Todd. So obviously he dies at the end of the story. It's a tough situation because like, how do you end the story with Robin like being killed like on camera? And then like the book just ends? Like right. it's a brutal... But that's no, already the, brutal. No, yeah. the ending is well, him walking it. away. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's the end. Like that's yeah. the prequel I would have accepted here, which is like, okay, I'm done. Like, we're about to live in a world without a Batman. And then right. we get to see the follow-up to that in Dark Knight Returns. Yeah. Yeah, but they wanted to show that Batman drove him away by saying, you're not... So it's like directly Batman's fault. Him. No, no, that's no, fine. No, no, I'm saying no, Batman didn't intentionally drive him away. I was right. saying he was driven away by Batman's actions, so it's Batman's, like, direct fault. I have no problem with Batman that. Batman doesn't know that. They want you to see... That and not only fault. does Batman drive him away, Batman drives him to his ultimate demise. No, I understand that. I'm saying I need at least one or two more pages, even if we don't see his death, of just Batman mm -hmm. being like, he's gone. Yeah, because like, oh, that's you the see thing the that makes him yeah. quit. Yes! Yeah. That would be the appropriate prequel. And, and he spends the whole book talking about how he's like, he's slowing down, he's tired, and he can't handle it anymore. But like, but he also won't stop. Yeah. But then Jason dies, and that's the thing that makes him stop? Yeah. And it's like, okay... This is the best Dark Knight Returns sequel of all time. It is, it is but it's yeah, and really. also terrible. It's also not ridiculous. In keeping with Frank Miller Dark Knight Returns sequels, it's also horribly dissatisfying, frustrating, and you know. oddly enough, the most banal. Yeah. Well, it, it, here's the, a here's the, a here's the, a mediocre Poison Ivy yeah, story. The Poison Ivy the, plot is it has no. I really thought there no were we're gonna make it somehow. She did it. It wasn't right. Yeah. I was like, oh shit! Poison Ivy kills him. Ha ha! Well, and it's weird because like the where she's about to choke him, it's yeah. like a bizarre fake out. Right? Yes. Like, oh, that's where that's she, where oh, he does. Yeah. No. Oh. Yeah. You could have done anything else. It's you could have had. Opportunity. You could have had Jason Todd end up under Poison Ivy's control. Yeah. And like, like literally, we've seen them fighting at the beginning, and then like maybe he's kicking the crap out of Batman, mm -hmm. and like maybe it's at the Wayne Manor or whatever, and Alfred kills him right. because he won't stop. Yeah. Well, that would and be like cool. that ruins not only. Yeah, Batman's yeah. relationship with with Robin, but also his relationship with Alfred. Yeah, that's why he's such a dick to Alfred. And that's why, <laughs> but that's why he stops because he's like, I recognize that you had to do that, but like, I've I've I worked, lost control of the situation. I ruined two people. <laughs> I ruined three lives. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, you could have done anything yeah. else. Yeah, had Batman accidentally kill him when fighting him with poison ivy I, I like, like mind controlling him and he's like I punched him too hard in the face and he died I, I mean, yeah the fact that he's so savage in the book as it is and then he's under poison ivy's control could have been a great turn well I mean that's the the antagonist of the story is Jason Todd like the story is about Jason being too reckless and yeah. too wild and, yeah. too, and too savage that's and that's cool and everything about that is really like well executed. Yeah. Up until he ran out of pages. Right. Yeah. They would have given you more yeah. pages. Hey, Frank. That's a deliberate choice. Like he <laughs> chose to do that yeah. because nobody's telling Frank, "Oh no, we don't have the money for three more pages." Like, please. No. And I kind of, like, I gotta tell you, like, the last page is. Haunting. It is very haunting. No, it is. The like, shrouded killers. We don't see their dumb masks. Thank God. Like, but but the the way in which it's colored, the way that like Joker clearly is, even if he his hand isn't on the blunt instruments beating Jason Todd near death, mm -hmm. he is at the helm. Yeah. yeah. He is in control of that situation. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's just, but he didn't engineer it. It's just random, from his perspective, it's just random that Robin's is coming it? by. Well, it's like, so bizarre because the, the last... Time. Well, I was going to say, the last page indicates almost that it, like he knew, he knew he Robin coming. would come. But, but like alone? I don't know because there's so much that doesn't lead to this no. conclusion. Exactly. It's almost like someone else wrote the conclusion and Frank tried to get there. Yeah, it could be that Frank ended it like here. 
And then they were like, hey, Brian, you got to finish it. It's no, I mean, like, uh. I'm sure Frank wrote this, but it's like there's something missing to lead us to that Yeah. Yeah, story. why does... Jo- well, like, Joker must be either psychic or have access to the Bat computer. Like, you know what I mean? Because yeah. Joker has to be aware that Robin knows where he is, that he will find him, and that Robin will go along. That's... Do they explain how Robin finds him? Robin no. knows that Joker tripped the the, the, the security oh, that's cameras. Right. That's what they that were talking about. Yeah. They have, and Robin knows like where he'll go. Right but now, there's no explanation. I guess like the only other like option is that like his plan was to separate Batman and Robin when they right. arrived, and he was like, "Oh, what a happy coincidence!" Robin showed up on his yeah. own. Yeah, or, or maybe he was pulling the strings with Poison Ivy, and he like engineered like Batman getting beat up enough that. <laughs> no, that he wouldn't be able no. to support Robin. No. Yeah, I don't think so. But it, it, it's 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 a it for a book that's this short and this simple. It is a mess. I really like. There's mm-hmm. really I, I I glossed over it, but I would like to just call attention to to when Robin leaves, Batman and Alfred have a conversation about Jason that if Jason had stayed, mm. wouldn't have led to his death. Batman's like the reason why I'm so worried. Is because Jason likes doing this. Mm-hmm. He enjoys the war. Yeah. And Alfred's like, you enjoy it. And he goes, no. Like, I don't enjoy this war. I have to do it. And he goes, oh, I remember a couple of instances. And he says, no, that was when I was young. And he's like, yeah, so is Jason. Yeah, Jason's right. young. Yeah. And he goes, like, what do young men want? To fight. Mm-hmm. And then Batman says, what do old men want? And Alfred says, to be young. <laughs> Aww. And you're like that's great and that's good writing yeah yeah <laughs> that's and you're like really? oh no does Frank still have it and I've been giving him a hard time for the last five years but then the book ends like that but then so. the book ends like yeah. that so no uh, right because like it, it, and you know that Frank wrote that because Azarello has nothing but utter disdain for superheroes and so he would never give Batman an opportunity to look good or mm. competent well why not make that the last page after he already lost Jason. He does. Like, Alf- well, Jason is on his way to die as Alfred and Batman. No, have I'm saying, started. like, you know that he's dead. You've come oh. back from it. You've found the body. And you're like, I, it was my fault. Right. I, I pushed him to this. Like, I... Well, it's more sad that they're talking about it like they might be able to help yeah, him. Yeah, and they don't even know. They don't even know how effed he yeah, is. It's, it's very dark. What you're talking about would be, like, more satisfying. Right, because it's actually this like This is, a- like... Oh, like these two, like these two old men are talking about like where he wanted it that way. Yeah, he wants you to feel like, and I get it. I get why you don't show what Joker does to Jason. Yeah, because like you don't have to. You don't have to. It's more horrifying to imagine what it is. And like we've seen the horrors that Joker can unleash on Batman and Gotham in Dark Knight Returns, which is arguably, inarguably, (laughs) a better book. Yeah. So it's like you got that going. For you. you don't even have to show the mm. aftermath of what happened. You just have to show Batman's reaction to it. I know we, I said that before. Yeah. We know it, <laughs> but they we didn't don't. want to show We've you. We've seen it. It's in Dark Knight Returns. It's an empty cave with blankets over everything. Yeah. His reaction is he throws it all away. No, I know. That I... being said, it doesn't really line up with his own universe because like Superman and the Justice League have to pack it in because the parents' groups, which Miller puts in here, mm-hmm. yeah. the Mab, yeah. is a representation of the parents' groups and the other like associations that, with Reagan's America, mm-hmm. went against the superheroes, and they have to they force them to leave. Hal leaves. Diana goes to the Mascara. Superman like becomes a dark agent for the U.S. government, and Batman Absolutely. doesn't stop but quits because of Robin. But we don't see any of that pressure. The only pressure the Batman gives himself also, it is... Also, it happens too early. It happens too early. Huh. I guess he decides... Uh, Maybe Joker nah, has him for a while. Well, and what's really frustrating yeah. is in All-Star Which Batman, it really lines up. He even uses lines from the original book to make that fit in that universe. But I mean, maybe when he, he dies, like... Maybe it's he not goes that more, long yeah. after this, and mm-hmm. maybe it just, like, it drains him. Like, yeah. that kind of guilt. Right. I mean, it could be that he quits... Mostly for Jason, but he, he doesn't know what else to do, so he's still Batman, and then the parents groups come in, and he's like, fine. Maybe he doesn't find out. Maybe he thinks Jason just ran away, and he doesn't know he died until, like, later, and then he quits. Mm. It, and Maybe there's going to be another book after this. <laughs> this came out a couple of years ago, but you never know. I mean, the, the reality is there's... I like that. I yeah. like the idea that, like, there is a period of time where Batman's still Batman without a Robin. Mm-hmm. The superheroes start 
you know, Falling being apart. pressuring and, and, and leaving. And then he has one big final, like not final, you think it's the final it's fight final with, Joker. with Joker. And, and Joker Joker's reveals. like, ha ah, <laughs> yeah, here's a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that like would be so horrible. Yeah, yeah. 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 Cause I killed he, him like twenty years. But ago. he does, and he doesn't kill him then. No. But he puts him in Arkham. So yeah. like that for me would make the scene between he and him or he and Joker in the in Dark the, Knight Returns in the in the song. Like, he's just like, what will it take? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with you that I couldn't fix with my hands. Yeah. yeah. Like. Hmm. Yeah. That's better. Okay. Write that, Frank. Why not? No, we just did. It's already in there. Like you, you got because this is open ended. You know yeah. what? You know what it is for me. I think what makes me so frustrated about this is like the poison ivy plot. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Because it's, it's an, really just in there to be distracting. And yes. like I understand. To fake you out or yeah, something. Yeah, and I guess that's what it is. But like it's it, not even a clever poison ivy. It's plot. not. No, and like it's, it's, it's just, just it's like designed to be a run of the mill poison ivy plot. It's like it's generic I poison think it's ivy supposed plot. To be. And I yeah. think they want you to think that they they want the real drama to be in Batman's apprehension over Jason. Right. And yeah. what Joker's gonna do right. we don't because want... you know he's going to kill him at the end. Uh, so it's like designed to not overshadow the the main points I'm trying to get you to focus it's on. It's like, yeah, sometimes Batman has to like fight Poison Ivy. Right. And, like, he... and, and that I deals guess, with it. Yeah. For me, I, it doesn't have to be Poison Ivy. It could have been like no one. It could have been like yeah. no named criminal. Yes, but I think mm. Frank's like, well, number one, let's do colorful characters. And number two, I've never gotten to cover Poison Ivy. Right, but you really yeah. didn't. Well, but Frank's also like, but I also created Electra. Like, I know how to write female cool villains. Like, but I but could do you don't give her anything to do. Well, no, now I, I'm crazy Uncle Frank. I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> Damn but it. But I think I do. But I think I do. Uh, I mean, Killer Croc taking Batman to the brink is interesting. Yeah, yes. It's just that it has nothing to do with the Poison Ivy. Right, no, you could have just had Killer Croc. Just, yeah, just do a he Killer Croc story. He could have just fought Killer Croc. Yes, but he, and he does. But like, but why also is there's some Poison Ivy stuff. It's a what's driving you know what Killer Croc? It's, Croc. it's somebody else. Well, because Croc cool. doesn't need cronies. He doesn't need like people for Jason to beat up so badly that Batman's worried that Jason can't be Batman. But those could just be street thugs. They could just be random crime that they're trying to stop and Jason's but taking it too far. Yeah, but right. it's better if it's people who are like actually innocent. That's true, and that's why, it's, that's why it's Like that's even well, darker. Not that it could be Mad Hatter. Hatter. Like, it could be Mad Hatter. What? Not the Joker goons that got crushed no, by no, a door. No, 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 these are people, these are innocents. Yeah, who are corrupted by Poison Ivy's like, they're under her like influence yeah. the and they were, people. they were normal people before I think that, that's so, the final fight, yeah, yeah but the yeah. rest of the book he's still taking it too yeah, far. Yeah, yeah, but that's the old, that's like even farther. That's like, like, these people are, what are you doing, right. Jason? Like, these people aren't able to control themselves. Yeah. Like, no, but they're you still should attacking be, us. Yeah, that's fair. yeah, but that's like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's it's another notch beyond I, what he was doing before. It's right? funny, because it seems like, it's almost like this is trying to do a little too much. Yeah. But, but yeah, there's but, not enough. But, the, but there's also not enough. Yeah. yeah, like it's just like little samplings of of different things. Yeah, mm -hmm. why didn't you just make it longer? <laughs> just I <laughs> fill it I in, don't so know. it's not rushed and weird. I know. I I remember when this came out and I bought it and I'm like, what? And then I'm like, oh, there must be another issue. And I like, I, yeah. I, and <laughs> there, really there straight up was, <laughs> well, there, I was like, there must be another issue. And then I read the last page. I'm like, there's no way there was another issue. No. I bet there's no. And I looked ever. I'm like, nope. Yeah. And I read every interview and they were just like, and no one said like, kind of short, like no interviewer was like, uh, what's up with the end and how it just kind of stops? Yeah, no one's gonna do that. No, no say I that mean like... No, but like, no, <laughs> nobody, like, come no. on. No, Frank Miller? Yeah. No. Some... Azarello tried, he got slapped in the face. Some people <laughs> like this style of open-ended ending and I use, yeah. and I do at times, but I feel like this didn't lead me to that yeah. No, no, it's very abrupt. And it's, it's very so like, oh. funny. Like we get like these little hints. Like, all right, here are these reporters. We will not see them again. No, not those reporters. Yeah. We're gonna see the other reporter that shows like, later. But like, that's not the mark of the Dark Knight universe. No, like no. you're meant to see these guys the same, again as like yeah. it's changing throughout the book. Yeah. But then I'd have to make the book longer. No, that's you don't. The, I don't have I, enough time I, for that. No, you literally uh, just you didn't need the the Gothip people. Yeah, why don't you replace or that with the other these beat reporter who doesn't like Bruce Wayne? Yeah, I, it's I just, just those two reporters the whole time. It's almost like they're just trying to hit the beat of hey, remember Dark Knight yeah. Returns? Yeah, we had the small little balloons with the with the mm -hmm. reporters in them. Yeah, and it's like yeah, I do remember that. Right, but, that but you're not doing that and if you only reference it one time and then they go away. And that's interesting because the Killer Croc fight the the two times he fights him the first time he fights him is very much like in dark knight returns where he's, he's like i gotta have a mini boss yes mm -hmm. yeah, the, the, yeah the the mutant leader the mutant leader or the um the nazi lady yes yeah oh bruno bruno yeah bruno like you know what i mean like all right i gotta have a fight to show that i'm old right or that i still got it you know yeah. what i mean and so like i feel like when we first see him 
He's like, hey, we'll hit that beat too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we'll also use that later on. Right. Like, but he's yeah. not even like, that yeah. old yet. No, I know. Like that's it's very frustrating. Well, like, you have to have do... a beat killer croc, so he has to come back. Yeah. yeah. I do like how Batman is placed age wise in the story. Like mm-hmm. he's kind of old. He's a little yeah, older. He's getting there. He's yeah. lost a step, but yeah. he's not. And his hair's graying a turns. little bit. Yeah, yeah. but he's not old. He's not fifty-five. Well, it's right. interesting. He also has. Which, by the way, is not nearly out. as old as he should be. Like, like he hasn't figured out how to be old yet. In Dark Knight Returns, he he's like a little more aware. <laughs> he had been old for. Well, he had yeah. been old and not Batman. Right. Yeah. So. And and but he's like, okay, I have to. Be very strategic. I have to be right. very yeah. careful. Here, he it's, hasn't quite. Well, when he fights the mutant leader weird. in that one, he's like, "I'll fight him like I like I always do." And it's like, That's you, true. yeah, and you lose the young man. And he's yeah. like, "Oh, I'm not young. <laughs> I got to figure it out. I'm old, but I'm old with information that makes me a better fighter." So, so yeah, it's interesting. Like Jason Todd throughout this book, like he's supposed to be so like you know, violent and yes. like you know, like yeah, but he doesn't lay a hand on Poison Ivy or Killer Croc or Killer Croc. When mm-hmm. he, by, by, but Batman is by... telling him to stay away from Croc. But he he, said, he told us he doesn't he doesn't listen. Yeah, I don't true. listen. Right, yeah. and then he doesn't follow through with that. He just catches poison ivy. Like that's where I'm just like, you need a poison mm-hmm. ivy to do the other thing with the innocence, and that was the end of it. Yep, right. that was literally it. She was like a device to set up like that one scene. Right, and so Robin then you had to deal with her. So you had to have him catch yeah. her, and then almost take him down instead of having him fight Croc. Yeah. So could yeah. she have like? Captured him a little bit, and then he freaks out and almost beats her with an inch of his life. No, he, Batman she, has, she just out. probably shouldn't have been in it, and they should have like been more clever about how to get innocence involved. Yeah, well, not yeah, I, or just not done that. Right, because you had enough. You could have shown his darkness Joker already. If that was the case, you're already setting everything up from the uh, from Arkham. Yeah. Or you set up this mothers against Batman thing that we've seen. Like you know, you set that up where it's like these kids are being mistreated by Batman. Have Robin do it. Right. Yeah. And it's just like. Okay, Robin, you're just proving their point right. right now. Okay, like yeah, yeah, these kids messed up, but they're really like whatever they're, they're doing isn't that to be, bad. Like, disfigured. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like it's not Batman; well, it's and, Robin but, who's doing but it. But maybe the subtext is that like Batman's taking the rap for things that. Oh, Jason's that could be. Doing. Oh. That could be. We don't see. Well, I mean, like, well, it's well, a it dramatization. Just, it kind of just seems like, like in this book, his first time Batman's like, huh? Yeah, <laughs> that's literally it. He's like, oh, you, hmm, mm. this is getting really rough. Funny, I don't remember beating the shit out of youths. I, but it's it's kind of interesting because at the, they subvert it at the end with Alfred saying, like, it's what young men do, and you were young men once. You'll get so there. Like, like, you are doing like, this. But yeah, it could you be. don't remember, but, like, you kind of were like that. Right. I and guess. maybe Batman is like, that's him being old. He's, like, reacting to that, like, yeah. like that's, that's so outrageous. That's, that's outrageous. That's outrageous you know, what he's and, that, and that is an interesting <laughs> read on Jason Todd. But, like, I, Jason Todd seemed to me to be, like, like Tim Drake was, where it's just like one element yes. of Batman's character. Right. Mm-hmm. It's not a rounded like, character. Like Dick Tim Grayson, is the brain. Dick is the like heart, and Jason is the rain. I was gonna and say together we form Captain Batman. <laughs> oh, I always felt like Dick Grayson is the closest. <laughs> yeah, Dick is mm-hmm. the closest to Batman, but still more well adjusted. Yes, mm-hmm. he's a little more well rounded, but the other two were like, I fill in. I like, am the brain part. I, I'm the fighter. Yeah, yeah. Like, but they both fight though. <laughs> what they already did is better than this in terms of what happens to Robin. You know what's more frustrating about how great that is is how like it almost even didn't even happen. Like it was all by an accident of a 900 number that like yeah. apparently someone gained the system to to control. Yeah. So it's like, oh my god! But like these these iconic beautiful stories that are important to the integrity of this character are are just oh the juggles by a crazy person. Like you don't even know. <laughs> But we'll see you guys next time with another episode of Bat Issues. Don't forget to check out this book. I'll put a link in the description box below this video where you can get a copy if you're interested. It's a quick read. It is a quick read. Yep. And we'll see you guys next time. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. And I'm Tiffany. So long. Comic pop. It's a quick read. Yeah. (laughs)